Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look at the gold market. So you could see that uh, in general action that we discussed recently with the possible upper continuation has happened. Unfortunately, it was really blur background in the point where the upper direction starts. So it's actually no technical preparation was for that. So we do not see on our chart any significant patterns that could let you to possess yourself so uh, it, it, it was possible but it's a bit more difficult in this time than usual um, in general current situation that we see from the comments of the fed and on the market reaction it seems that uh, just few and few investors keep believing in a further rate hike from the fed so faith in the hiking policy um, is is uh, fading and if you take a look for instance on interest rates can see that the one yield a uh, one year bond shows the yield in 292 while we have currently rate 225 which means that here's difference only 70 basis points which suggests another rate change in september and here is actually the performance and yield of the one year bond equals to the yield of the 10 year bond which put the big shadow on the perspective of the further rate hiking what does it mean guys it means that they will start printing money again so closer to the end of the year first they will try to burn the existing treasury deposit in the fed which still has 60 billion um one when this will be over they start printing money so no quantitative tightening will be and they trying to they they just have no choice to support the bond market they have to control the yield um, so if they will not do this it's just economy will crush totally uh, this performance it will be just absolutely perfect for the coal market because you will see that inflation keep growing higher negative rate will become greater just because they will try to control the yield while the inflation will keep going up uh, economy will turn to recession because we expect the second quarter is negative and uh, we will get the so-called uh, as uh, stagflation so you will get the stagnation in the economy with the uh, rising inflation this is a just perfect background for the coal market and uh, it might be the sign that coal market maybe stands closer to the reversal point that we thought initially so I'll keep watching today in the short term we suggest as we expect the negative numbers uh, we suggest that cold market should proceed higher um, the, the nearest target as we said this will be around 18 even because this is confluence as you can see they'll ever bought so this significant resistance for the thursday and friday sessions before the weekend this is quite enough but um there are different ways might be with the uh, shape that market could take on this upper breakout so take a look on the follow time frame chart our triangle consolidation has been broken market comes to the neckline supposed neckline and here um, theoretically we could suggest the pairing of the hand and shoulder passion right with this deeper retracement and then upper direction but here i see two problems first of all if we really get negative numbers it will be recession and it's definitely push gold market higher that's because it will be a bit surprising it's because investors paul suggest the positive numbers uh and probably in this case market will break it directly the acceleration this area uh, the chances that it will start showing some pullback well currently it's not quite logical to suggest second technical problem with this is that actually um we already have the hand and shoulders that we mentioned recently with this recent performance it should not been happen on the upper direction to the neck but it started right so and that is look more like the shoulder already stands in place on the hourly chart you could see what really has happened that's actually divergence in this and it's uh, the only patch that has worked actually as you can see upper direction market now is challenging the neckline 
shoulders already stands in place, market comes to for the first the COP target. So it means that market with the performance of the on the on the back on the background of the gross domestic product release, it just could could keep going with this ABCD to the OP, which is stand around right 1780, 1770. This will be the OP target. So market could proceed easily to this area. So that's actually the riddle and I actually mostly well turn tending to idea that hand shoulders already stands in place it's more probable than on a, a data release we just could get upward continuation here so um, what tools you could use for trading most conservative and compromise approach is usually it is split, it's split to position so you could try and take position based on this most resting swing some part if I will be wrong or cross domestic product will be positive and market indeed could start dropping and really will get this head and shoulders although chances are minimal but still they exist you will be able to get more to a position somewhere around 1705 area or if we totally will be wrong your loss will be very small because you will take just 30 percent of your position second ways to you is to uh, trade it is maybe play some buy stop orders above some area above the COP for example in this case if cross domestic product will be negative and market stock accelerates higher you're just stepping on the stop order in the moment of the breakout and you get the position on the way to the OP this is most uh, mostly for active traders straight will last maybe just hour or two hours at least at maximum well this is uh, another way so in classical approach that we still have is just use this most resting swing uh, maybe some retracement will happen until before the gross domestic product release use this point as the invalidation take the position and then see what will happen next so that's three ways how we could act um, let's see what we'll get on the gross domestic product release my opinion is that it should be negative guys um, because uh, as you could see as the Jerome Powell recently in the gel and yelling a uh, few days before the Fed statement they start to prepare markets that to drop in the GDP is not the recession recession is a different thing hardly they will focus on this if they wouldn't know that it will be negative so just simple uh, common sense let's see